Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys quite possibly one of the quickest methods to get to high rounds here on Mauer de Toten. This method makes use of the canister from the Easter egg. Once the canister field upgrade is used, it's going to kill every zombie around you and it charges up insanely fast. All you need to do to start this method is progress in the Easter egg up until gaining access to the secret lab. So if you know what to do for that, simply skip ahead, but if not, follow along as I'm going to show you right now. You will first need to build Klaus, but before we get into that, I want to quickly mention that this video is sponsored by Digizani. This website will allow you guys to purchase in-game currency, video games, and boosting services. And specifically for Call of Duty, you can navigate over to DGZ Gold and purchase things like max level weapons, max prestige, dark aether, and DM ultra unlock services, and so much more. Make sure to use code eradicate for 5% off your purchase. You can also go to DGZ Gold Giveaways and enter to win some awesome prizes. So big shout out to DGZ for sponsoring this video. I greatly appreciate it and remember to use my code when making purchases for 5% off. So the first step in order to get Klaus, you will need to make your way over to the Death Strip and walk under the light and then it's going to activate a danger zone. Whilst this is going on, you will need to dig in the various dig sites and you will be given a microwave dish. Once you've got that, you can make your way over to the Garment Factory and you can now place that part on this red armor station here. Now you will need to kill this uh, Krasny soldier that spawns in on round 10. So just play until you reach round 10. And then once you've gone ahead and taken care of the Krasny soldier, he will drop a battery. Go ahead and pick that up. You will then take this battery down to the safe house and put it on Klaus. Now for the third and final part, you will need to make sure power and pack-a-punch are turned on. Make your way over to the pack-a-punch machine and equip the brain rot ammo mod. Now once equipped, make your way over to Hotel Room 304, turn a zombie, and it's going to begin destroying this boarded up door here, revealing a hidden room. Walk inside this room and you will then be able to interact with this dead zombie and collect Klaus's hands. Once this is completed, make your way back over to the safe house and you can now finish building Klaus. Now once you have Klaus, you will get this equipment that is going to allow you to control Klaus. You can put a marker down and he will transport himself over to that location. The first place you need to go is to the switch control room and get Klaus to open up this locker here. And once opened, you can collect the black light from inside. Once you have this black light, you are going to need to go to three different locations, all of which are going to give you a set of numbers needed to open the safe inside the room where we got Klaus's hands from. The first location corresponds to the first set of numbers and it is in the garment factory. So use your black light to find the writing on the walls. Mine happened to be the number 11. The next location is in the service passage, and this is the second set of numbers needed to open the safe. My number for this happened to be 30. Now the third and final location is inside the grocery store, and this will give you your third set of numbers needed to open the safe. Mine happened to be 27. Now once you have your three sets of numbers, remember mine were 11, 30, and 27. You can now make your way to the hotel room 305, the location where we got Klaus's hands from, and you can interact with this safe, input the numbers, and get your free wonder weapon. One thing that's worth mentioning is that you can interact with this and the zombies will not touch you. However, as soon as you're out of the interaction, the zombies will begin attacking you. So just input your numbers like so. Remember mine were 11 for dial 1, 30 for dial 2, and 27 for dial 3. And boom, just like that, we've got a free wonder weapon. Now once you have Klaus built and you have the free Cerberus wonder weapon, you will now need to call Klaus in to this location here in the sewer access and get him to break down this wall. Now once this wall is broken down, you will need to shoot the glass and melt it using the blazer mod kit. Now once you're inside the secret lab, you will need to pass the rounds until these glowing red domes go away. Once they disappear, go ahead and pick up these three canisters here and then shoot with the wonder weapon and out pops this essence trap thing. Go ahead and pick that up. Now make your way over to this location on the map put in an essence canister, and then throw down your essence trap. This is going to spawn in some tempests. Go ahead and kill them, and then all you need to do from here is pick up the aether canister. Once you have the canister field upgrade, make your way over to hotel room 305, and you're basically good to go. I would also recommend to use the base weapon of the Cerberus Wonder Weapon, as it basically insta-kills the zombies. And once you see zombies coming from the window beside you, activate your field upgrade, and then just repeat this process by filling it back up, and just so you know, it takes uh, five zombie kills to fill up the field upgrade. You can now just camp here and pass the rounds super, super quickly by abusing this portion of the Easter egg. I do also recommend for you to use Mule Kick Tier 5 
as this is going to give you guys the opportunity to pick up ammo from zombies. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing so you never miss a video like this one. And with that being said guys, my name is of course Eradicate and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.